All right, so here it is. It's all back into the bag and uh, it's a little bit of a tight fit, but if you work at it and roll it up real careful, you can get everything in here. Hello, welcome to Waypoint Survival. Today, I'd like to show you the world's smallest complete survival shelter. Stay tuned. One of the bulkiest items that you carry into the field with you is going to be your shelter kit, at least up until now. I've been doing some research and I found some super small survival blankets. Now you can get these on Amazon and they come in a four pack. This is what the box looks like and they are really, really well made. They are much larger than the average survival blanket. These are a full five foot by seven foot, and you can get this entire four pack for $20. And I'll make sure and put a link down in the description box below. So in this kit with some modifications, I have four tent pegs. I have, of course, the shelter. I have a 25 foot ridge line with a carabiner attached. I also have uh, the lines tied to it and each one of the lines is fastened in the corner using a very small plastic bead. Uh, they're very lightweight and very durable. So I'm going to open up this kit and I'm going to show you what it looks like. Again, it's a five by seven and this is just an excellent, excellent shelter option for you. Fits easily in your pocket or a cargo pocket. Put it, ladies could put it in their purse. But anyway, I want to show you this. I think you'll really like it. So here's the entire kit laid out for you the uh, little bag that it comes in, the shelter with the cordage wrapped around it, and I've got my four tent pegs. These I made from aluminum gutter spikes, cut down, I smoothed the ends over, and then bent them over. Here's my mini carabiner with the 25 foot of cord. Now this cord is made from Kevlar. It's a 100 pound test strength, and I'll make sure and post a link to that as well in the description box. So I've got a nice spot picked out between these two trees here. And I'm gonna go ahead and take out my ridge line and I'll show you what that looks like up close. Again, just 25 feet of 100 pound test Kevlar line with a small carabiner attached. So using my little carabiner, I'm just going to simply go around the tree just like this, and then clip it on like that. And that will pull it tight. I'll give you a close up of that. So this is what it looks like up close. Just a simple carabiner attached to the line. Now I'm just gonna stretch it out between here and this other tree. Just come around, pull it tight. And then just do a simple back and forth. All right, now that we have our ridge line set up, I'm going to take my shelter and I've just got the Kevlar just wound around the package to hold it nice and tight. And once we get that undone, we can start opening up the package. So this is a little bit noisy. You all are familiar with this. It is camouflage on one side, but I'm gonna go ahead and open it up and uh, get that over top of my ridge line and uh, show you what that looks like as well. I've got the other side staked out. I'm going to take another one of my very small handmade aluminum lightweight pegs. And I've already got pre-made loops in this with the cable, the line that I've cut. And I'm gonna stretch this out and pull it tight. Just like that. Now, let's fasten the front. The lines that I've pre-installed in the front are six feet long so that I can get enough elevation and angle to put this up in the best way that the shelter will set up for its length as well as for me to get under it and to stay relatively warm and dry if it starts to rain or snow harder than it is today. All right, we got that side in. And now, I'm gonna pull it tight. 
get the other line and stretch it out. And I always like to go at about a 45 degree angle to the other stake. Okay, so here it is, all set up and it's all staked down. Of course, we can adjust the stakes a little bit, get a little tighter, and that's always a good idea when you first put something up like this and uh, to make sure we have everything as taut as possible without ripping the fabric. This is pretty tough, it's pretty durable, but again, it is a thinner material, very lightweight, and so it's easy to rip it. So we have to be careful how much we pull on it. But we're going to adjust it, then I'll get under it and I'll show you just how big this really is. All right, we've got it all set up and it's looking just great. Uh, all stretched out, it's nice and tight. And I'm gonna get under here and I'm gonna show you just how big this is. All right, as you can see, I've got plenty of room to set up without uh, hitting my head. And there's enough room for me to lay down in here. Can have a fire out front and stay nice and warm. This blanket is said to reflect 95% of your body heat. This is an awesome shelter, super lightweight, packs very small. As I told you, the entire package only weighs 3.3 ounces. So that's, that's super light, and like I said, easily carried. Here's a side shot, and as you can see, there's plenty of room for me to lay down under here, and I can turn whichever way I want, but uh, definitely keep the water off of you. It's plenty wide. As a matter of fact, in a pinch, you can actually get two people in this shelter. All right, here it is, all the way around. Of course, as you can see, it's camouflage, as I said before. And just a really great shelter option if you need to stay out for a night or two. All right, so here it is, it's all back into the bag and uh, it's a little bit of a tight fit but if you work at it and roll it up real careful you can get everything in here and uh, like I said I think this is a fantastic shelter option for you you're just out doing some woods wandering something might come up you need a quick shelter this will get it done for you this is James Bender for Waypoint Survival if you like this video please give it a thumbs up also make sure and check out the links in the description box below and while you're down there, make sure and check out the merchandise shelf, which is located just below the description box. There, you'll find our Teespring link, which is where you can buy great Waypoint Survival merchandise, which goes to help support the channel and the ongoing research that we do to bring you great video content on YouTube. And if you haven't done so already, please subscribe to the channel. We'd really appreciate it. And when you do subscribe, make sure and press that bell button so that you can stay notified of all of our upcoming videos. And we'll talk to you next time. <music>